What's good? I'm here by the ocean side today. And today is December 31st. And I feel like I want to give you guys a video on the first and then my usual Tuesday upload. Or I might just make this that one video. And honestly, I really have no set topic to talk about today other than what I believe God has in store for me for 2024. So let's get into that. All right. Twenty twenty. Nah. Dear twenty twenty four. I'm grateful that I'm getting ready to see you. <laughs> I pray that I will actually see you because it is thirty first. But I'ma just talk as if I'ma be here all 2024. So dear 2024, this is a year of being myself. This is a year of being the security, the version of security that you've been wanting to be for a very long time. This is the year that I'm just taking action. I'm not talking about it, I'm just doing it. This is, this is that year. This is that year. Is this thing recording? <laughs> Let me zoom in a little bit actually. Sorry guys. <laughs> I might just leave that in there. Who knows? This is the year of being the version of me that I've truly wanted to be for quite some time. And it's time I take action. There's no more saying, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Nah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Like Nike. Just do it. Because me saying it has been holding me back for how many years now? It's too many. It's too many. It's time that literally we just do it. So 2024 is a year of me just doing things that I believe is best for me. It's going to be a year of me putting my trust in God. Truly doing that. Truly doing that. Just trust in God. Just trust, just trust the process. Because I was doing this devotional earlier. And it was about Joseph. And God giving Joseph a vision as a kid. Or speaking to Joseph as a kid. Saying that you're going to be the ruler of many. And obviously Joseph's not going to know what this truly means. And God puts Joseph in jail. Well, he didn't put him in jail. The brothers got jealous and they sold him into slavery and that put him in prison some way, somehow. And in that period, Joseph, he didn't complain, not once. Power to him for not complaining. Power to him. He didn't complain, not once. And he gave it his all. He was the best prisoner. He was the best slave. He did everything to, to his best. He did everything 100%. Just went into it 100%. Little did he know that the person in charge of the prison was going to put him in charge of all the prisoners. Because God, to me, that, that to me is saying that God has a funny way of doing things. Because 
he just knew he was gonna be the ruler of many. He didn't know, like he was probably thinking, yeah, I'm gonna be a king. I'm gonna have all these people that work under me. Nah, that wasn't the case. He had to serve as a prisoner for a certain amount of years prior to them saying, you're in charge of everyone now. You're a model prisoner, help them be more like you. That, that takes faith and it takes truly trusting in God, trusting the process, trusting and believing that no matter what, God is gonna do what he says he's going to do. The end the passage said, the keeper of the prison paid no attention to anything that was in Joseph's charge because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made it succeed. So to me that's saying, as long as I continue to trust and believe in God, I will succeed. Because I do believe that God wants me to help millions of people. That's what I truly believe. I believe that that is what God wants, that's what God has in store for me, is to help millions of people in a positive manner. As to what that is, I don't know. But I know that if I stay steadfast on this course of trusting whatever it is that God puts in front of me, that I'm gonna get there. And I say that all to say, this is why I am being more consistent with YouTube, I'm not I'm not sure. If, you, if you're new to my channel, thank you. I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Because 2024, it's just going to be a year of self-discovery, trusting God, trusting the process, and helping others. That's what, I'm pretty sure that's all you're going to see on my channel this year. That's it. Because that's all that I truly believe that God has in store for me right now. And you'll see some traveling, because I like to travel. I intend on traveling this year. I just, I still believe, I truly believe I will be a multi-millionaire. And I truly believe that I will be helping thousands of lives for about a, in a good way. I'm not going to be doing evil. I truly feel that's what God has in store for me. But as for 2024, we, I will be traveling. I'll be taking some time off to travel the world. to see other things, to, to meet new people. 2024. <laughs> I just see, I just see that Sakuni 2.0 sitting over there looking back at me. It's like, just sitting there cheering like, yo, you did it. That's what I see at the end of 2024 is a new version of, not even at the end of 2024, but in the coming months, I see the new version of me looking at myself back in the mirror. I don't see this person that I see, that you see right now. I see, I believe that I'm seeing a, a whole another version of Sukudini. Sukudini that's happy, that's confident, that She's just confident and happy. I truly feel that's what I'm missing right now. I don't, I don't feel like that I'm truly happy. I'd be lying if I said I did. She's confident. She loves herself. She, she is just following what God is putting in front of us. She's following God's will. And that is amazing to me. So, 2024, I have four things that I ask of you. Just four. That's it. One, it's to follow God's plan for me. That's it. Follow God's plan for me. Earn a sustainable income. If that means that's from YouTube or I have a little job or something, so be it. Just earn a sustainable income that allows me to help other people. That allows me to have all my necessities. That allows me to be able to travel so that I can meet new people and ultimately help 
more people. Three is to start this the discover who I am and what is next for me. It, I feel like this is my year of self discovery and my self love journey and just finding me. Finding me is what I truly believe this year is about. And the last thing is find and become Sukudani 2.0. Eventually, I'll have to stop saying 2.0, but <laughs> for right now, it's Sukudani 2.0 because I'm working, that's who I am actively being. That's who I'm actively being. I'm not trying to get there. I need to take that out of my vocabulary. Try. I am she. Because my channel is called Unknown to Unforgettable, right? And I feel like my end goal is always the same. Multi-millionaire helping millions of people. I think that's always been the same. But if you if you look back at the older, I don't even know. Did I say this already? I don't know. But the other videos on my channel, I'm just doing this to try and make money fast. And either way, I know some way, somehow, I'm going to be unforgettable. Because it's like Joseph. God, God told him he's going to be a leader of many. God told me I'm going to be unforgettable. What the unforgettable is, I do not know, but I believe that it has something to do with helping other people. Just helping people, no matter what. I'm starting to believe that is that is it. But I'm still here, God. I'm still listening. But those are the four things that I'm truly just focusing on in 2024. I don't want to set any true monetary goal. I just need to be able to sustain my lifestyle. That's it. And help others. And I'll be okay. Why? Because I trust God has me. I trust that God has it under control. If you guys watch this entire video, thank you. I thank you and I really hope that you got something from this. I know I was just talking about me and what I'm going to do in 2024. But I hope that if you did get through this entire video, that you found something in this video that is going to help you. I just pray that something in this video helped you. And that you can take the next day and become 1% better for yourself. And I just want to say thank you for being a part of my journey from unknown to unforgettable. Whether you're subscribed or not, if you watch the video, you are now a part of my journey. And I truly hope that you watch me all year, you watch me grow, and I hope that you are done in the comment section telling me how you have grown with me. Because I'm not doing this by myself. It's not just me out here feeling like this. I know that. And that's why I'm compelled to record it and put it out there for the world. Because I know it can help someone else. Like I said, I'm here to help all the people. My name is Sakudani, and I am on a journey from unknown so unforgettable.